What is good you guys, I'm Jaydeep and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in continuation with a series on data types in Python, the next in line are uh, sets. So sets are used to store unique data and the uni uniqueness is ensured by uh, something called as hashing. So I've made a video on hashing in Python uh, and leave it, uh, before I start with this, before you start watching this video, I suggest you go, uh, go and watch that as well. I leave a link to that in the description and on the i button as well. I said, uh, sets are used to store unique data and in order to maintain uh, the uniqueness or how, uh, in order to ensure the uniqueness of the data, Python uses something called as hashing and that is why uh, unhashable data such as lists or dictionaries cannot be stored. If you try to store it, Python will give you a type error that unhashable data is present. On the other hand, if you store uh, hashable data such as strings or uh, even tuples uh, uh, then, or uh, integers, then a set can be created using the uh, curly braces. Due to the extensive use of hashing uh, to, for storage and retrieval, uh, searching is pretty fast and it offers a better performance if you have a unique uh, fixed data set. Uh, with that said, uh, let's get started. So let us uh, first start with the creation of sets. Now there are two methods. The first is the recommended one and the other is using the set constructor uh, which is a bit slow and it is not recommended now. So we'll just uh, see the recommended method. I don't want to uh, go over all the unrecommended or slow methods. So the uh, method to create a set is using the uh, curly braces and you can just enter ele any element. So this is a set of, oh, sorry. So this is a set of Uh, with this. So this is an element of, uh, this is a set of weak days. Now uh, this is not limited to just uh, a single data type, we can store anything. So um, this is how you would, um, <coughs> so this is how a set can be created. Now a uh, quick note, it is, since we've not seen dictionaries, this is not relevant, but don't try to do something like, so if you see a type of uh, S, uh, this is a set, but don't do something like uh, A is equal to this. This would create an empty dictionary. Yeah, this is not a set. If you want to create an empty set, you would do something like, uh, this. you'd use the uh, set constructor. And if you now do a type of A, this would be a set. So this is something uh, worth noting. Uh, the, uh, you you cannot create a blank set using curly braces because by default it because this is the, a symbol for a uh, Python dictionary. Right. Coming back to our uh, set. So this is all about creating a set. Now just let's go over reading. Uh, one last point. Uh, one last point uh, on the uh, creation part. Uh, let's uh, quickly revisit that. Uh, now, uh, as we said, uh, a set can be created this way. Now, uh, and if you now display it, uh, now you print that set, you see the order in which we try created this set has not been retained. And why it is not retained? Because set uses hashing. And by hashing, uh, the algorithm goes something like hash of element, uh, element, and the mod of length of, uh, well, it is only eight uh, at the starting by default. Uh, it is eight because that uh, Python uses a bucket of size eight. And once the uh, this uh, eight length bucket becomes two third filled, uh, uh, two, uh, two third filled, then uh, the size is increased, uh, increased and it becomes 16. So this is the uh, hashing algorithm which is used and hence uh, sets are unordered. That is the order in which we try to create them is not retained. I have a detailed video on hashing and the internal working of the set. If anyone is interested, I will leave that uh, leave a link to that in the uh, I button and the description as well. Uh, so do check that video out as well. Uh, that is why I made that video before covering sets because uh, sometimes this can be confusing because if you uh, create a list and so uh, one, two, three, four, and if you print list of A, then this order is retained. But if you do a set and if you try, uh, if you print the set, the order is not retained. So this is uh, this is because of hashing, uh, and this is why it happens that. And uh, so an important point to remember is uh, sets are unordered. Now that brings us to the read part. Now, if you do a uh, list of zero, you could read the first element. But if you try something like set of zero, this is not happening. You cannot read a set like this. Why? Because it is not ordered. That is why you cannot read. It. So now you would ask how to read a set. So reading a set is uh, very simple. You have to iterate over it. One, two, three, four. And 
and this is how you would read the elements of a set so for uh, reading the set you have to uh, iterate over it now uh, going over the uh, updation of set to update a set uh, the set api provides an add method so uh, let us add say saturday because everyone loves the weekend uh, so if i now do uh, so and again if you see um, here uh, the, uh, you would expect that it is added at the end but that is now not how it works uh, it internally uh, uses the hashing algorithm and wherever it finds an empty place in the bucket uh, that is where the element is inserted so this is how you update it now going over the uh, delete deletion from a set how would you delete from a set so there are various methods uh, i actually have written them uh, all them down i don't remember all of them but i start remove so if you if i want to remove the weekend uh, i want to remove the saturday and if i now print the uh, s then s is removed so this is one method and let us see what happens when we try to remove something which doesn't exist so say sunday if you see that uh, the key error is present that is the sunday doesn't exist now let us try something called as discard and we'll just try to delete the same element sunday so the uh, you can remove the elements uh, in a set using two methods the set dot remove and the set dot discard the only difference is if you do a set dot remove and the key does not exist in the set it will give you a key error so you can handle this exception but if you do a set dot discard and the uh, key doesn't exist then it won't give you an error so whenever you have to handle exceptions make sure you use the remove method uh, and there's another one called set dot pop and so what happened in set dot pop is it removed the uh, last element which was inserted if we do set dot pop again then uh, it starts removing then it will remove the if we do it again it will remove the two so it starts removing the elements so this is uh, three methods to remove individual elements if you want to create uh, clear the entire set then you can just do a s dot clear and now s is uh, entirely empty i am trying to, so uh, this is about deletion from a set uh, let me try and bring that set back so that I can use it somewhere else. And right, so I'm going to reinitialize this set. So this was all about the CRUD operations, how to create, read, update, and delete from a set. Uh, now, um, coming back to the use, um, not coming back, but moving ahead, what are the use cases of set? Now, uh, anyone who is big on mathematics or who uh, has a keen interest in mathematics might know about the set theory. So what a set theory is, is um, so suppose you have two uh, distinct, uh, distinct data sets, you can print the union, which is the combination of two, you can print the inter, inter, uh, intersection, which is the common elements, uh, then you have a superset, you have a subset and that kind of stuff. So that is where uh, that is where set theory is used. So if you're someone who's big on mathematics, someone who's uh, learning Python for data sciences, machine learning, AI, so uh, set theory is something which uh, uh, has a ready-made uh, mathematic, uh, mathematical op operations uh, which support the set theory. Uh, oh, right. So before moving to that, again, um, one more uh, thing which we want, which I want to cover is. Uh, just like list set also uh, supports the in operation so suppose you want to check if the key uh, now here what happened is uh, if you see here uh, while, while we tried to remove a key which doesn't exist it gave a key error so if you want to check if the key already exists in this what you can do is sunday in s so because sunday doesn't exist uh, it gives a false so before re removing you can do this uh, um, in comparison and it would uh, help you to avoid this error again so if the key doesn't exist you can just avoid doing the delete operation or the remove operation so this uh, similar like um, sunday uh, not in s and this would return it true so in and not in are again available for sets so uh, right uh, use cases of set so as i said uh, union intersection uh, subset superset uh, all the all these mathematical concepts which are available for set uh, are also available uh, as part uh, as a default in the python set api so let us go over a few examples using uh, starting with the union so s is an empty set of 1 2 3 4 5 s is not an empty set s is a set containing five elements and s1 or let's say w is a set which contains uh, let's stick to common elements and 6 7 8 now 
uh, how would you implement a union here is uh, s union w so this would give you a union of all the sets that is all the elements which are present here and here since 2 and 3 are duplicated it is not uh, given that element similar to uh, union uh, there is also inter uh, intersection so s by uh, for the intersection you have to give an and operator and w since uh, 2 and 3 are the only common ones in this set uh, we've got 2 and 3 as a result now uh, what if you want to um, right uh, what if you want to update this set with the intersection i let's uh, so what you can do is s and percent equal to w and if you do now uh, set now so this would have replaced the set that is uh, so this is uh, intersection and update similarly uh, let me reinitialize s and w again and if we do set or equal to that is union equal to w then s would now be a bigger set so this uh, so for union and intersection these are two methods so this is union uh, your, uh, the pipe operator or the or and the uh, and percent uh, and percent is for the intersection operator now uh, subsets and super uh, supersets did i see that right i uh, as i said i'm not that big on mathematics but i think superset is the correct so uh, uh, let us now start with superset and subset so what uh, let me quickly initialize uh, s and t again so s is the bigger set uh, then there's another w and then there is t now what a superset is that now if you see all the elements which are contained in t are also in contained in uh, s as well so if you do something like t it is an s this will return a false because t is a part of s but the reverse is not true so is t less than or is t a subset of s then that would give you true now suppose we have another set which is bigger than this that is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and 7 now if you do a a is greater than s or is a a superset of s then this will be written true so this is how super so uh, uh, in mathematical terms t is a subset of s and s is a subset of a so these are again uh, some handy operations which are available uh, for uh, the set theory now uh, so this is about uh, you know the other methods which are available as part of the api where union intersection subsets superset there are a lot many other methods i uh, won't cover each and every one of them as i said uh, pe for people who are big on mathematics uh, this uh, sets are very important and uh, you should uh, consider going over all the api uh, so coming back to some practical use cases now we have studied that uh, as a, uh, uh, as i said that uh, the set api provides a lot of mathematical methods and hence it is uh, very useful for mathematical purposes as well but in general as well you can uh, since uh, sets uh, use uh, hashing to uh, store and search elements they are pretty fast and you can use them where you have uh, data uh, searching operations so suppose you have a, a set of needles which is just a set of emails so you have a lot a large email data set and you need to search uh, within the master data set how many of those e uh, email ids are present in the master data set and both of them are stored as sets then what you can do is um, result is equal to length of Mm, set of underscore emails and a data set underscore of emails so this would usually give you so uh, let us try this out actually so suppose i have a, a set a which has one two three four five and i have a master set b which has one two three four five or uh, let's say six seven eight and two comma three now uh, uh, let us assume set a is the haystack and we need to search how many elements from set b are present in set a then what you can simply do is result or let's not even do that so length of set a and set b so you see two elements from set uh, b are present in set a so this is pretty convenient uh, if you did uh, if you did not have uh, this uh, and, uh, intersection operator what you would uh, usually have done is for x in set a or set yeah, b 1 2 3 4 if x in set a 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 print um, 
print say something present so you see uh, it's uh, printed uh, present two times because uh, two and three so if you see uh, this has uh, saved us a lot of lines of code uh, this is one two three lines of code this is simply a single line of code so this is how uh, if you know the programming concepts and then you can use uh, them better and write uh, good and efficient code this is uh, this code is pretty fast and this uh, and this, it is short as well the only downside of this is uh, here we knew that the data set was stored as a set only now what if the data uh, data uh, data is not stored as set then you can do something like convert it so list a is equal to say 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 6 and 6 and 5 okay then you can convert a is equal to set of list a and if you do here uh, it will it will be converted and you can do the same operation again but what happens is it, uh, it does an overhead uh, it does an overhead of converting the list to a set so uh, that is the uh, issue here so uh, if the data is already present as set then this is a, a very good use case where you can uh, where you can uh, use uh, set in your practical applications so uh, that is it for uh, sets in python guys uh, so sets are unordered and used to store unique data so if you uh, just go uh, going over it again uh, this is a set which has repetitive elements but if you uh, when you display the set actually it only has unique elements uh, since uh, sets are unordered there is no way to access this using index so uh, and hence you have to iterate it over using uh, iterate over this set using a for loop uh, to update a set that is the add method to remove elements from this set you can have the uh, discard it's not uh, there's a d missing here uh, remove pop and clear clear will uh, just get rid of everything uh, then uh, the main use case of set is the uh, mathematical set operation such as union uh, which can be done using the pipe operator the intersection which can be done using and operator subset and superset which is uh, using these two and uh, these are not the only ones uh, please go uh, over the python api and there are a lot many methods which are available out of the box as part of the set api uh, an important uh, thing is sets use hashing for storing data and hence they offer a, uh, a better performance uh, when used wisely they can reduce the number of lines of code and also give better performance uh, what i mean by uh, reduce the lines of code is uh, if you see here uh, there's two sets and if you want to find the number of elements from set b which are present in set a you can just do this instead of writing these three lines uh, which you would have otherwise done if this was not a set or if these were list uh, 